Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying T minus 30. Um, this is a really cool game. I, I've had this on my on my radar for a little while. I'm like this. This seems like a really interesting kind of game. Um, as you you might be able to tell just from the title, this is a the kind of game that you can play in 30 minutes. In fact, the game plays a lot quicker depending on how you play it, but uh, basically you're, on, you're, you're guaranteed to only spend 30 minutes on this game. It's essentially a apocalyptic city builder is the way I'll put it. You're trying to save as many people as possible in 30 minutes. Um, do I just did the tutorial. I don't know if maybe there's more tutorialism in this, but it looks like there's not. So um, this isn't the kind of game I, I, I I don't, I have mixed feelings about this, but I think ultimately it is a decision made um, specifically for the game. You cannot play this game while paused. You can't like plan things out um, very well, at least. So you have to just kind of go play things by uh, on the fly. I think that's a, it's a very deliberate decision made to basically stop the player from like agonizing over decisions. You make no mistake, you are going to agonize for sure. But for the time being, um, you kind of you kind of want to just do things as best as you can on the fly. It's that kind of game. So um, let's see here. Hold on. Uh, needs more work. OK, so the the early game is this is something I'm going to mess up a little bit. This is the kind of game where uh, placement matters. Workers need food. Of course they do. You need a lot of stuff. You need a lot of stuff to get things going. I think I may have already messed things up. We got a bit of wood. Okay, uh, let's... I think we can place this here. I don't think uh, farms or water have any restrictions. So we're going to place a well that, that's going to provide water for the farms. They're eventually going to provide food, but they need to... They need a little bit of time to get things going. These don't need to be near roads. Um, quite a lot of pieces do need to be near roads in order to function properly. Um, this is a this is the kind of game where like you can really get into optimizing placement, how you arrange things. Um, but the map is always going to be a little bit different, so uh, you can't necessarily rely on mainstay kind of strategies. So these have generated, they're generating food now, so these these need energy now. Okay, so let's go ahead and generate some energy. Uh, we can do so with solar panels, but we don't want to use up uh, our minerals right away, so we're just going to go ahead and provide some basic energy. This guy over here might, might not be able to be made. I may have made them preemptively. Oh, hold on a second. It's easy for me to click outside the game. I wish... Uh, it may, may have, it would, it would, you know, have, uh, basically lock your, your cursor inside. Does this guy, this guy does not require energy. So we could build a camp right here and that would be fine because I was just saying like, oh, we could, we could make use of this mountain, but, uh, mountain Gandalf, but, uh, we can go ahead and clear this area over here so we can make use of these mountains. We are going to want to make use of those for things like quarries. I like to play with optimization like uh sorry efficiency on so that i can see what i need to do so on our on our left side here we can see what we're uh accumulating what we're building um you know we have a lot of worker efficiency right now i think that's good that basically means there's no one uh no one uh idle and that's i think an important thing you got to do that is as quickly as you can we're going to want a quarry i want to build an advanced quarry but that's going to require um, energy. So it might be we just build a normal quarry and maybe we can upgrade it later. So let's do some normal quarries so we can start producing some stone. Um, this is a kind of game you can also play, uh, like you have, you can have different methods of doing things. For instance, uh, you can, um, when it comes to farming, choose different routes on how you farm. You will eventually want to, uh, build better farms, but there are different kinds of better farms depending on your terrain layout you be you may find a more efficient ways of doing things so um i'm gonna go ahead and place this here this is gonna um sort of expand our fog of war here or uh, i guess retract the fog of war if you prefer um just so we can have a you know better idea of what 
our map looks like. Then we'll expand outwards. Um, we're looking for a good area to place um, some farm. Because I like to kind of take care of the farm. And then, you know, like people with as soon as people are fed, you can start of kind of, um, you know, that that trickles down. Once you have more food, you can get more people. Once you have more people, then you can you have more workers then you can start building you can ex you can expand as quickly as you can um let's see uh, i would like to start getting this advanced reclamation site these can only be built on these uh destroyed buildings these are um like we're, we're working in a post meteorite landscape by the way uh okay so these farms are done let's replant them and we're gonna expand a little bit can expand again. Uh, I might only do that the one time before I start working on our next. Um, there we go. On our next, on our upgraded farms. These guys are going to need energy. They only need ten energy per round per per tick, I guess. So we can just plant one of these next, and that should be enough to keep them fed. And these energy, these windmills, they they don't actually require road access in order to function so i could place one like over here where we can't basically make use of that space um we are gonna need wood we don't have any wood right now so let's go ahead and plant a couple of logging sites and we can start to consider maybe uh having our advanced farms i don't know can, do we have enough yet we have we need compost wood metals and plastics. We have plenty of those, so we can start uh, considering that. I like to make use of these water towers because you can you can basically plunk one down and, <clears throat> and then plant a bunch of wells around it, and it just makes your building um, site a little bit more flexible. We do have this skyscraper here, so that's gonna be a little bit of an issue because we're gonna wanna build over here. Of course, we have all of these buildings over here, so we, maybe we just say, we don't need that one and make use of these ones instead. I notice this guy is not working. Why not? Energy capacity reach cannot generate more. What does this need? Need more work to operate at full efficiency. Okay, we need more workers. Uh, let's go ahead and do build one of these. This is going to need 40 energy and 10 food. So this needs a lot of energy. Um, that's okay. Let's put it here. We're going to generate a lot of energy here in just a second. And I clicked outside the window again. Um, let's go ahead and plunk this down here. That's going to generate energy for this guy. These solar panels, they generate 50 energy. So that's going to be more than enough for this high rise. We're going to have a little bit left um, here. So I'm going to plunk down this. Um, this energy transmitter basically takes in energy and transmits it to other necessary pieces. I guess if I placed it one over, it could have provided for that. Uh, reclamation site, but uh, it was already getting enough energy, so we're fine there. Um, I might do some more high rises. We could do like say three, or I guess four solar powers, so solar panels, because then um, they would be providing ten each, which would mean we would get forty surplus, which would be enough for one more building. This is the kind of game you're definitely going to want to do. Maybe a little bit of number crunching to figure out what is the optimal play. I am trying to rush a little bit because this is definitely the kind of, this is a game you're rushing against the clock, 100%. So I want to make some greenhouses. We're going to need, in order to do that, 10, 10 water each. The, the, these wells provide five water each, which means we need two wells for every greenhouse. Um, it does, however, only need 10 energy. So we can place this guy here and then plunk down two wells and that's enough for that but I want I want more than that right I want I want like a couple of these so um, the since they only need 10 energy that means one solar panel is enough to power five of them so I'm gonna plunk this down that's gonna provide energy for five more of these guys remember we had one surplus from this guy over here those farms need replanting. We'll do this one more time, and then. Uh, but I want to focus on these improved farms, so that'll be the last time we plant those. So this guy's not getting enough something. Uh, water, right? Of course, he doesn't have. They don't have enough water. Um, 
So what we could do, we could plant uh, these wells nearby, but like I said, I like to make use of these water towers. So why don't we place one of these here and then we can um, place a bunch of wells all around them. So that's one, two, I mean it's eight. I don't need to count it. So eight means we're gonna be providing, what is it, eight times five is, uh, I'm good at math, 40. So that means it's gonna provide enough water for four more of these, provided the, the tower is reaching it. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna reach it, but this solar, this guy, yeah, this was bad placement. This was pretty bad placement all around, actually. I need more wood, so we're gonna need to build more wood. This is like, you know, I, I probably play sub-optimally in that I like to see what I need and then build what I need as opposed to planning out what I need and then like ahead of time and like, okay, I'm going to need like five or six or seven logging sites to make this possible. So I still need three more of these um, greenhouses, right? So this purple landscape tells me that the, that is, you know, that, that is a good place to build it. I find that hard to believe, but I will believe it. We can only build one more. I want to build two more though, is the thing. So we need more wood. Uh, I definitely can make more wood happen. So why don't we go ahead and build some more road, do some more logging sites. We're, we are 100% gonna need to expand a bit more. Uh, we need one more, how much, what are we missing? Still wood, I think. Wood and compost. Uh, we get compost from the apartments. Except not really. Some of these provide com compost. I guess the they all provide compost. What's going on here? Contains idle workers. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not great, but... What we can do is we are short of wood and we got all of this convenient uh, land uh, uh, forest there, so that'll work. So what's wrong with this one? Needs more water. It, I think this should balance out a little bit. But uh, certainly I could have been a bit better about my uh, tower placement. I'll figure it out. Eventually I'll figure out an optimal way of placing those. So I'm just going to expand outwards a little bit. And we could go in the other direction as well. I have to wait for this to clear and then I'll expand that way. Could use some more quarries. Could use a lot of stuff actually. And you can clear this. There's, I don't think there's any penalty to clearing this. It's, oh, uh, that was an accident actually. Uh, it just, it's, it actually gives you free materials. You can see we, we get a bunch of stuff for clearing those out. So what are we trying to do? Well, um, we're trying to build rockets, mini rockets. In fact, uh, hopefully we're trying to build these advanced rockets because these advanced rockets uh, save quite a lot of people. These, um, how many? Can carry 400 survivors and does not require many resources to build. Um, not sure why you would want to build the advanced rockets. Oh, every second while charging. So these do 100 survivors renewably, like as much as possible. These just do 400 flat. So that's why you would want the advanced rockets. Then there are also the bio rockets, but you need seeds for those. You're going to want, for the seeds, you're going to want to build these arbor... Uh, Arboretums? Arboretums? I, I, I'm sure there's a really, you know, there's a proper way of pronouncing that. Then we can do these pump stations, but that's a whole extra thing and we need uh, special tiles to do that. So, let's, um, first of all, let's get rid of these farms. Let's get rid of all of this. We can use this for other things. Uh, I want to build in this direction. Oh, it might, that's actually the edge of the map. That's my bad. Uh, we could build in that direction. I actually didn't mean to place that there and unfortunately we can't get rid of that now <laughs> That's okay. I don't think you need the roads to be connected if we want to build over here. We're just gonna need um, To to build some apartments over there. So these are idle. We're, we're again running into idle issues Make no mistake. I'm like being horribly inefficient right now both with my time and with my space um, but that's because I have to comment over <laughs> over what I'm doing. Um, that's, the, that's the forgiveness I'm going to allow uh, myself. So what I'd like to do is I want to turn these apartments into um, reclamation. 
Where is the reclamation? Here we go. Advanced reclamation. These are going to give us minerals. We're going to need power for that. So we're going to place down another one of these guys. The reclamation sites only, I think, need 10 each. 10 energy. So we only need... Uh, the tower is fine. We only need one solar panel. And that's going to provide enough for all of this. You know what I could do is honestly, we could just like get rid of a bit of this water here since it's not actually serving anything. And then um, just build over here. We don't have to, we don't have to just like call this, a, you know, dead. We'll just go over here and we'll build that way a little bit. And that way we can build some more farms. Probably need more water since they requ you require two wells for every one of these. And honestly, I'm gonna I'm just gonna get rid of No, no, actually there's no reason to get rid of the wells. Because this is still providing water for enough enough of these. Uh those are gonna require power though. Do we have, are we providing enough power? Well I'll plunk down another solar panel just in case. I think I think that'll be enough. Needs more water. Okay. So it's we're running into water shortage. We could uh, get rid of that one road and place another well. And there are better methods for water, um, but uh, we need like water tiles in order to, to make that work. I'm gonna build in this direction and we're gonna place this guy here and that's gonna give us a lot of the map. All right, so what is this? Plains, aha, uh -huh. actual water tiles. So that's gonna be good. Hopefully we can make use of that. We can make some pumping stations. In a minute. Um, so we have 13 minutes, we, can sh we should start building rockets because those, since those work like every turn, uh, I just realized, okay, we have a tower here. So what we could do is just throw down another solar panel and this will be our rocket area. Since these are going to be saving people every, you know, a hundred per tick, is it? Every second. Um, we want to place these as early as possible so we can save the, the, you know, the maximum number of people. We are running into stone problems, stone shortage problems. So let's go ahead and build some more quarries. Can do some advanced quarries, although these are going to require power. That's fine. How much power do they require? Uh, 20 energy, so that means these windmills are not going to cut it because they only do 10 energy. So we'll do two of these, although there was already a windmill there. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I'm not sure what that windmill was doing there. Do we need road access for advanced quarries? Probably. Which is fine. We'll just plunk a bunch down and then we'll build in this direction. And then I'll do some a couple of solar panels. This will be enough power for both of these. I don't have to worry about th that 10 extra power is whatever. It's fine. Then I'll just do a couple windmills here and that should be enough. Okay, so we're, we still have idle workers. So that's actually good in my opinion because that means we can we don't have to worry about building more uh, apartments for a while so let's do some more reclamation reclamation is very good because it gives us minerals minerals is what we use to um build the solar panels and other things also like the rockets which by the way we can build some more rockets we're still running into stone shortage so let's go ahead and build another quarry Uh, I guess I built a normal quarry, which is fine because we didn't actually have the energy output for a proper quarry. These guys are running, don't have power, so let's go ahead and provide that with, to them. This should do it diagonally as well, I think. Uh, maybe not, so I'm going to have to build a tower. Mm, I'm a little bit worried. This is, you don't get the, that stuff back, by the way, so that was just like pure a pure waste. So I'm gonna plunk this down and then that, the reason being is I, I don't know if maybe the 
pump uh, requires power and yes it does so that's going to be good can only be placed on shoreline so we can we can play it place it there why are we placing that well um honestly not sure yet we're going to find out if maybe this is a good area for more farms i mean we have enough food we have 375 percent food so that means we have enough food to provide for like a bunch more people so honestly water is not really something we have to worry about um let's go ahead and continue to build you know reclamation i think is one of the more important um buildings because it provides minerals although we could start working towards metal synthesizers they provide one mineral every three seconds the reclamation is one mineral every second so the re advanced reclamation is still better than metal synthesizers metals are important as well but um you know, I, uh, it's the metals that are generally the bottleneck for advanced rocketries. Um, I don't know if maybe we're going to start running into power issues over here yet. Uh, how much do these require? 20 energy. So, yeah, maybe a little bit of power issues over here. It, they don't seem to be, like, crying, you know, like... We need power, we need way more power. So that seems to be a good thing. Um, I think I'm just gonna throw some windmills down there. Wait, this was providing power, but it wasn't, oh, that doesn't have road access. Oops. Okay, let's throw down a road. There we go, now that advanced reclamation is actually happening there. I honestly think that you will want to turn every single building into an advanced reclamation site. Uh, did not mean to do that. So we have nine minutes left. I'm not even at two stars yet. Um, this game kind of in in terms of its like goals feels similar to me um, to oh god what was the name of that site? Riftgate? I think it was called Riftgate or something. Um, I, I, I covered it on my channel, um, like, when basically turn, like turning planets into... It was like a 4X game, but there was no uh, extermination. There was no combat. So it was like a you know self-proclaimed 3X game. This kind of reminds me of that in that you're trying to do as good as you can in the shortest possible time or like, you know, turns in a way. But since this is a real-time game, it's a bit more... Uh, you know, fast pace. I don't know if maybe we can turn these buildings into something else. Remove a tent, clear tool, cost two metals, gain 10 stone, 10 wood. I'm not sure if maybe we can turn those into something else, but uh, I'm just going to deal with them for now. And we're going to turn this into a reclamation. Also going to turn this into a reclamation. Uh, unfortunately, this one is... Do these provide power diagonally, do you think? Yeah, it looks like they do. Good. Okay, so I'll plant a couple of those down there. Uh, we'll go ahead and place another one there. And um, I think we're good. Oh, these these are really good. These resource cache gives you a bunch of resources like right away. You can see, including minerals. So they're like very good. We can build a bunch, at least four more advanced rocketry. I think we're going to need another power station to you know, for for more of these i didn't realize there was also another building here so um let's go ahead and plunk some of these guys down i'm just gonna like i'm not gonna math it out i'm just gonna place it because we can um we can get that reclamation site and then we can start plunking these rockets down what's our bottleneck right now still stone we really need to get some stone um I think over here, like, I definitely want to make use of these mountains. So I'm just going to go ahead and do something like this. And we'll place another tower down. How much do the quarries require? The quarries require, uh, the advanced quarries require um, 20 energy. So that means... Um, 50 energy is going to be enough to cover probably all of these mountains. Uh, we are short of wood, though, so let's go ahead and build some more of these guys. 
I'll do that one there as well and these and then we'll just have to build some roads to finish those off then we'll do some quarries advanced quarries oh what a, yeah we need we need more wood we need a ton more wood in fact we have five minutes left that doesn't have road access so there's 100% no point in me building that that's fine I'll just leave it there All right, um, we can make use of these guys as well. We just need more wood. It's our major bottleneck right now. All right, and then we'll build some more advanced quarries. As many as we can. There we go. So that's gonna provide us with a bunch more stone. We should be able to build some more advanced rockets soon enough. And I don't think I'm gonna make it to any kind of impressive score count here. Probably not even to two stars. This is the kind of game you're gonna to wanna to play a few times. Um, and, and you know, become, learn how to play it a bit more optimally. I'm not uh, generally a huge fan of like games 100% about optimization, but I do really like this one actually. It's, I don't think you need to necessarily math things out. I think eventually, Rather than figuring out, oh, this, you know, needs a certain amount of power, therefore I can build, like, five of these, and therefore I can build four pa panels. You might just, like, learn um, patterns of, like, okay, I have, like, you know, a certain number of solar panels here, so therefore I can support X amount of stuff. Um, and I'll, you could also just play it the way I play it, um, you know, aka badly, <laughs> where you just, like, oh, I need more power, I'll build more solar panels. Oh, I need more rocks. I'll build more of this and that's and uh, and just kind of eyeball things, you know. So what are we requiring right now? We can build more uh, rockets. That's really what we're trying to do right now. Uh, we can at the last second build a bunch of basic rockets. These just are flat cost, but uh, and flat amount of like survival but um you know they they will give you something they're they're a way to use up the rest of your resources at the last second must be connected to road i'm just gonna place these as much as i can i'm gonna fast forward a little bit i don't know what else we can really do not enough resources I don't know if, uh, it's funny that our minerals aren't going up. Like, we have tons of, of mineral creation, don't we? What happened to our reclamation sites? Do those eventually disappear? That's interesting. I didn't know that. More efficient than the regular reclamation site, but requires energy to function, also reclaims minerals, depletes over time. So do these deplete over time? Yes, they do. Okay, so these buildings are... Yeah, like that tells me for sure you actually want to, you want them. You want to get them as quickly as possible. Um, since they deplete over time, that means they're like, they're not useful to you later. They're not like going to net you later. So, you know, the faster you make use of them, I think the better. Oh, these are actually fine. Okay. Um, so we have a minute and 40 left. We can still build some more rockets, maybe. We're still running into stone, like, shortage problems. Oh, I guess these, uh, these quarries also deplete the, the mountains. Interesting. Didn't know that either. So that means we can, uh, you know, kind of build outwards a little bit. I'm, I'm learning a lot of things from this, just a short, like, playthrough. Uh, these need power. One minute. Okay, uh, that means, okay, build as many of these as possible, but also build as many of these as possible.
That's it. It's not gonna cut it. But it is, you know, you gotta save as many as you can. That, that, also that noise is really loud. Ten seconds. All right. So uh, you know, I didn't uh, didn't make it to two stars, but um, I think I, I showed off the game as as well as I can. And look at that. Hey, thirty seconds almost exactly. Uh, sorry, thirty minutes almost exactly. Um, yeah, the world has been destroyed and we saved a, a very paltry sum of people, but hey, uh, we learned a lot of things. This is a really cool game. I definitely think like up there with um, some of the very like short and sweet kind of um, strategy games like the, the Metro. What is that game called? Metro something. Oh man, I'm, I'm blanking on like everything today. Mini Metro. There was Mini Metro and then there was Mini Motorways, which were like really excellent. And then uh, as long as I'm looking up games, what was the other one called? Rift? Uh, no, it wasn't called Rift. Something Gates, maybe. Gateways? Nope, that's a different game entirely. Wow, I'm, I'm totally blanking on the name of that game. Uh, and I really liked it too. I might even go back and play some of it. Um, maybe, maybe it's in my favorites. Last try. Last try to remember that, that game. Uh, bu, 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 bu. nope. Nope. Slipways. There it is. Slipways. Um, yeah. It, this game definitely reminds me of Slipways, and I, it's, it's up there with that. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing more of this. Um, honestly, I, I might even do a series if there's call for it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and found it informative, definitely consider hitting that like button and I'll, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Take it easy.